with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the new Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Crankcase, which is a whole story. We'll get into it later on. But for the packaging, much like all the Studio Series figures, you got a nice image of them there uh, on top of uh, the open window that fully showcases the figure. You got the Transformers text right here, Generation logo. You can see that this is how... <laughs> crankcase appeared in dark of the moon come to the other side you got an up close image of his ugly mug the other side here has a little bit more pulled back image that's uh, more like that hey you come to the back of the package you got other figures that are available the backdrop which is from the dread standoff scene then you got an image of him in his uh robot as well as his vehicle mode and it says crankcase takes on the autobots refusing to back down so yeah uh they call him crankcase but He's actually just a redeco of the Studio Series Crowbar, which no one knows why. Because Crankcase actually looked like the Berserker that we got in the Transformers Last Night toy line. So why they didn't use that Berserker mold is completely unknown to us. But for the packaging on this guy, that's about it. So without further ado, let's get him out here and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Crankcase or Crowbar or whatever you want to call him. Personally, I'm just going to call him utterly fucking pointless. Now, starting off first with the backdrop. Um, it's, a you know, it's the Dread fight scene, which, hey, just coincides with the fact that I just reviewed Sideswipe. Here's his backdrop for it. Uh, very similar, uh, except slightly more shifted over uh, or moved around i don't i don't even know what they i mean like it's basically the same thing just slightly different i mean you can see that same car there i mean there it is it's the same building in the background it's just shifted over a little bit more so it's like this this is pointless as well but i mean hey it, it's meant to you know be their whole the mexican standoff scene and yeah so here we have them now I personally love the dreads. Uh, one thing that I will say is that I'm completely annoyed at the fact that we have yet to get that one uh, beast. One, there were three dreads. Mirage or Dino, whatever you want to call him in Dark of the Moon, basically destroyed the, the, the running dog looking one. And then Crankcase and Crowbar are what was left that fought against Ironhide and Sideswipe. Now what's weird is, and I kind of talked about this, Crankcase, in terms of robot mode, does not look the way that this guy looks. He actually looks how the, what was this, Dreadbot? I, I don't remember this guy's name, but basically, this is Crankcase, and I'll bring it out here later on. This is supposed to be Crowbar, uh, but we already got a Crowbar. This is that Crowbar. Um, you can see you got the little, uh, the, the Dread things hanging out here. So, this is so entirely convoluted, I don't understand what they were thinking. But, I mean, as you can see, hey, look, I now have three dreads. I mean, I guess I could just leave this guy in vehicle mode and pretend that, you know, he's that dog thing. I don't know. Uh, vehicle mode wise, though, you can see they are identical. Here, let me bring in that guy again, just because it's going to... Be necessary for comparison. Uh, he does come with these weird things, although mine were ridiculously warped in the package. Uh, much more warped than, than this one was. Uh, at least these are... Um, I mean, I can kind of force that in the, like the proper direction. Maybe I'll have to, you know, boil some water, put it in there uh, to get it to kind of stay straight. These are nice. The gold looks pretty good. Um, one thing that is definitely interesting is it feels like it's two pieces. Like this is fused together very nicely. This, uh, you can see, like, what's happening there? If it focuses, what's, uh, what's going on there? Why is it doing that? And it's doing it on both of them. So, kind of sucks. And then this, I mean... GPS, right? I'm sure uh, certain reviewers who will hate GPS will probably complain about these. Uh, but, you know, whatever. I don't really care. Uh, this, I personally think, looks a little bit better in the darker color. Uh, that being said, I, I, well, I'll, I'll save that for the robot mode. Uh, but you can see that there really isn't too much different. Um, 
they were black Suburbans. Uh, molding is exactly the same. You can see you got the uh, Chevy logo, you got the white headlights, you got the red section here. Um, even the blue for the windows look about right. The only thing that I see that's really different um, is the original uh, had a Decepticon logo on uh, on the sides. That's the only thing that's different. Uh, sure would have been nice, being that this is a new studio series, if they would have made, went with a black plastic for that. Why could you not use black plastic for that? They've yet to be able to do it. On three figures, is the black dye that much expensive? Much, or much more expensive? What the shit? Come on. Um, but really, that's the only difference uh, in terms of the color here for the vehicle mode, which I guess is, is cool because, again... They're all supposed to look the same. I mean, he's got the Decepticon logo. So, I mean, the only one that kind of stands out is that guy. I mean, they all look the same. So, again, it's kind of cool uh, to do that, I suppose. He rolls. Um, that's that, that's really about it. He's uh, obviously that same mold. So, pretty small by comparison to what a regular car should be. It is what it is. Uh, so now uh, we've seen the transformation for this guy. It doesn't change. So there he is, robot mode. And I'm amazed that he actually stood. That's quite impressive. Um, now, totally honest here. I do like the color uh, primarily on his body. I, I do have to fix him because obviously he fell a little bit. Uh, the body looks good in terms of the coloring. I don't like these being gold. I can think of like one instance in the movie where they looked goldish in color, but primarily they were a darker color like this. But uh, doing the comparison here, uh, the overall darker look on the new guy is considerably better, I, I, I do think. The only part that, like I said, I don't particularly like would be the gold bits here. And they even continue that on with the hands. I don't like that. I think that these look a lot cooler. But again, uh, molding-wise, he is the exact same figure. Nothing changed on him, which is really strange because this was already released to us in the Studio Series line. Um, so I don't... I, I really don't get it. Now, uh, I actually did uh, use the kind of hair dryer trick to uh, heat this up and then form this down so it drapes down on his back a little bit better because I don't like that sticking out. I'll probably do the same thing with this. Ultimately, I'm probably going to keep this guy as, you know, that third dread that was the beast sort of thing. So keeping him there and then bringing in that, uh, which is the berserker, uh, that uh, last night character, but it is absolutely meant to be uh, his partner crank case crowbar i don't know the names are confusing me so much now i mean he's listed as crank case but he looks like crowbar and that's uh, whatever so i mean really i feel like this is a complete waste of a release i i think they could have really put their effort in giving us that little beast uh to kind of round out all of them uh because, like I said, th there really isn't that much of a difference with this guy. Um, and he he just seems pointless, honestly. The coloring does look really nice, but, y you know, or, or like this. This guy was pointless. Give us the beast. I mean, this guy looks good. The paint on here is considerably better than the other one. But that other one is still a Studio Series figure as well, so just a waste for me uh, his articulation is the same you do have a little bit of a hinge right here you have the rest of the head which is on a ball joint the shoulders here do have a hinge as part of the transformation then you have the ball joint there you do have a rotation at the uh, middle portion of the bicep you have an elbow hinge right there uh, the wrists move in and out as part of the transformation no waist rotation um, that's all locked into place uh, but i feel like i'm fiddling with this a little bit more uh, like it should be more extended but and you know whatever I, I don't really care that much uh, then you do have the ball joint here for the uh, hips a very nice big ball joint so you can even rotate sort of up there and then you do have a mid thigh rotation you have the bend at the knee feet don't really do shit they kind of hinge forward and back so you can get him tippy toe and i'm tip toe oh that kind of looks like he's wearing high heels right there um so is this guy worth uh, putting in your display? Yes, he is. On the caveat, 
that's a fancy word. Uh, the caveat that if you have not gotten uh, this dude, this dude right here, then pick this guy up because uh, he does look better. But otherwise, th this is a waste of a release. Just kind of fills things in. Uh, I mean, he's going to be in my... Oh, I didn't fold that all the way down. Uh, he's going to go in my display um, just because I do like the way that he looks, although the foot is starting to flip and suck because I fold that back. So does that work better? Yeah, I guess it does. Uh, so, I mean, he uh, he works better uh, in, in terms of a color for for the character, but I don't I, I don't feel like he's a figure that you need to run out and rush to try to find them. Uh, if you pay more than the regular retail on this guy, you're probably crazy or you're a YouTube toy reviewer. So whatever. Uh, but all that being said, if you do want to pick him up, he is available at online retailers. He's also at various retail locations right now. So if you are looking for him, good luck and happy hunting. Or you can keep it simple and just order them from Big Bad Toy Store. For that, I'll put a link down in the video description where you'll go to BBTS and you can check out availability on this guy as well as the rest of the wide range of Transformer figures. But beyond that, guys, that's about it. Remember, if you like this video, I would really appreciate your support simply by hitting that little tiny thumbs up button. Let's see how many likes we can get on this video for a figure that sucks. Okay, well the, well, the figure does this, but you get the idea. Also, I want to send a huge thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this review. Another way that you can really help support my channel is making sure that you watch a video all the way through. And if you did that, thank you. Also, I want to send a huge shout out to all of my patrons, who through their continued support, now more than ever, help to make reviews like this possible. And finally, remember, the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Thank you for watching and taking the time to be a kid.